Hi guys and welcome back to another discussion video about quality problems with some of the famous knife brands. Today we're going to start with this Mew knife, it's made by Spyderco. Um, first I have to tell you that this knife was actually, it, it's, it's not fair to say it has a quality problem because the, this particular one I bought it for $10 discount. The normal Spyderco Mew Team 16 would have costed $60. I want to discuss with you what I think that the Spyderco actually considered as a quality problem. So for start is, I think it's probably this bit. Uh, this knife was stone washed. So you can see the, the marks everywhere, there's a stone wash. But this bit was probably the, the reason this knife was offered in the $10 discount. But otherwise, if, if that was not an issue, I would say, I would say maybe it's because the cut was not clean, maybe. Maybe th that was the reason, see over here, and over here, and over here. Maybe the circles were not cut properly. That's why they give the discount. I, I'm not really sure why Spyderco considered this one as a quality problem because I honestly, I've seen Spyderco knives with slightly worse cosmetic um, problem than this knife. This this is an overall pretty damn perfect looking knife to me. And also consider this this bit is going to be covered up by a handle scale. So you can't even see what, what all these things are, you know, once you put handle scales on. So anyways, I would say the circles on the handle are not cut completely. That was just a fit and finish because I don't, I don't think that was a really that much of an issue. And the stone wash didn't remove this mark and that would also be just a fit and finish issue. So given that both parts were actually supposed to be covered by the handle scales, I would say in, in many ways that these two are not even actually a problem at all in, in some people's eyes because you can't actually see it. The, the quality issue I had with this knife was over here. So you see, it, it should be smooth on the surface, but there's a, a chip of some kind on the hand guard. That is a, um, it was just, it was, I guess it's not um, visually pleasing, but it does not affect the function of the knife. So in my opinion, that is actually a fit and finish issue. because it doesn't affect how, how, how the knife performs. So for the open now knife, which is a French made, for a start, you can see a, a very interesting undecisive grind line here, which is, I think they tried to smooth things out, but they couldn't figure out a very nice and very probably tidy way to do it. So you see where the blade grind finishes and the starting of the, the wire cutters in here, they just, it feels like, you know, like, like there's no, there's no clear instruction from the engineers um, what to do with this part and the, whoever does the grinding just kind of like, oh, uh, well, I'm just gonna remove the really sharp corners or something. I mean, functionally wise, it's not really a problem, but if you're like a very uh, dedicated uh, knife collector like me, this kind of feels like it's very, it's very weird. So in my opinion, that's really, it's not a quality problem because I'm sure they all look like that. Um, I would say that's more, more of a, a fit and finish um, decision. The other thing is the, the blade tan. You can see it's very rough inside the blade tang. Um, that's obviously from stamping the blade from a like a sheet metal or sheet steel. So it's left a lot of mark there, but they didn't really finish or smooth out the, the surface. So it, it just looks like that. Um, that's pretty normal for a knife that don't, don't usually cost a lot of money because smoothing it out costs labor. So they just did, they figured they want to like cut the cost down. Um, but it doesn't look as nice, I guess. In my opinion, that's um, that's not a quality issue. Again, it's it's a fit and finish 
and uh, obviously they chose this such a process design because they don't want to cost too much money. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please check out my other videos such as the cut test or knife reviews. I'll see you next time.